Hello best friends, this video is the cheapest, strongest fragrances I could buy online. I'm going to show you some tips on how I bought them. We're going to have titles from Prada, Hugo Boss, Tommy Bahama, Jean Paul Gaultier, and even Lomani and Agua Brava to name most of them. Most were found on eBay or Amazon and a special trick that I use to find these random fragrances. Sometimes I'll type in damaged box 3.4 on eBay and it pulls up a whole list of fragrances like Bulgari or Beyonce that's just the size of a bottle and then you check it like this one Terry D. Hermes 5849s I go on fragrance X Terry D. Hermes 3.4 ounces really 78.53 so you're thinking wow that must be a good deal on eBay it's a damaged box for 58 it's $20 cheaper tons of fragrances like that some you may have heard of some you may not have heard of and that's a way to go blind buy shopping on the cheap if that's the sort of thing you like to do which I do it's kind of fun of course I check the reviews make sure they're decent performance which all of these are of decent performance we're gonna dive right in number one Lomani code it's this blue cool bottle it's got this cool can as the box and I was thinking it was an Armani code fragrance and it's kind of close to silver scent to be quite honest with you. It cost only $15 anyway. It has an enormous strong scent trail and it lasts a long, long time. So for the money, this is pretty good. This is about age 21 and up. As far as the scent goes, it smells like expensive grape juice, but not in a bad way. Next, you have Tommy Bahama. Very cool. The top notes, this came in, out in 2006. The top notes are Mandarin Orange, Bergamot and ginger with nutmeg paprika secret tip about this if you find the one with the wood tip it is a beast mode bomb hard to find fragrance i used to have one and i sold it all the fragrances by tommy bahama now are bought by tommy hilfiger which they kind of ruined it as this only lasts for three or four hours but it's still a decent fragrance because you can buy it right 20 bucks anyway without the damaged box deal i found but i found it cheaper than them next fragrance on the list is going to be called adolfo sport aromatic spicy fragrance for men which has aldehydes which is kind of a kind of a fresh note orange water notes pepper neroli amber vetiver and some resins in it this one has a huge scent trail and eternal longevity for the price it's called adolfo sport i haven't really even tested it next much not a lot either the next one is called aqua Brava Azul, Antonio Puig, Citrus Aromatic Fragrance, was launched in 2012. Found this for like $8. Lemon, Clary Sage, Sea Notes, Pink Pepper. Basically, it's a blue citrus fun fragrance, but it does have cedar and tobacco. Moderate longevity. Kind of smells like, kind of like Isimiyaki-ish. And Puig is the maker from this. Puig is a fancy clothing brand. Next one is Boss Number One. Have you ever heard of this one from 1985? Piero Wagrin made it. It's got the Artemisia. It's got all your typical 80 notes, grapefruit. It has some green apples. So back then I was like, wow, you got the Boss. It's got some honey, lavender, jasmine, sage, geraniums, all that stuff that used to be in those 80s powerhouses notes. And it does have tobacco, patchouli, oak moss, cinnamon. So you have a tobacco fragrance right here called Boss number one it's an iconic gentlemanly fragrance if you like fragrances like Paco Tenere the old school Javinci gentleman from 73 you will love this it's very smooth and nice and wearable it has a fair amount of patchouli too it's got a soapy woody scent a little drier and smooth patchouli though it's not that spiced patchouli for an older crowd I would say have you ever heard of Pecknif's Professional someone told me that Pecknif's Professional is a similar scent to this other than that, this is a very, very good tobacco fragrance. It just kind of reminds you of cigar, smoky tobacco, and honey. And the projection is way above average on this. And the longevity is hardcore. Another fragrance that falls in this sort of genre is called Paul Sebastian. The PS Fine Cologne was launched in 1979. I found this for $13. It's got sage, nutmeg, all the same type of 80s type notes again. It's simply a beast mode fragrance in the same category as Pierre Cardin, as Old School Spite, Old Spice, or Obsession. If you like Azara Por Homme, you will like this. Some people I know wear this. 
forever. They'll not change. That's all they buy. You YouTube work bottle. with a lot of people. This is an aromatic aquatic fragrance called Set Sail Martinique. Found for 20 bucks anyway. Of course, I told you I found damaged boxes for 14 to 16 dollars. I found all these dirt cheap. This stuff transforms within five minutes. You can overspray it. It's perfect. It's got a pleasant dry down the average price i found this on the internet however was 31 dollars like amazon it's an eau de cologne concentration what does that mean that means spray away my friend spray it 80 times or at least five or six great fragrance for a bartender waiter or doctor some kind of jobs that's like that you can pick this up cheap at those rack stores also and it makes you feel like summer some sort of vacation time martinique is the caribbean near puerto rico i think it's about a five to seven hour fragrance, so it's really not bad. Set sail, Mark Tenet. In 2018, Aqua de Gio Absolu came out, two on two party fever came out, and this, Diesel, Only the Brave Street, orange apple spice drying down to a soft spice vanilla fragrance. Highly versatile for all, all occasions, all clothing. You must like vanilla to like this, but this thing is a serious beast mode. It's a solid release by Diesel. John Paul Gaultier, Le Mail is next, but this is called Le Mail in the Navy. I call it in the Navy now, but it's only called in the Navy. This is a fragrance. If you imagine John Paul Gaultier on steroids, you got this one. It begins with peppermint alongside oceanic, cool, fresh notes, followed by vanilla and ambergris. Fruits with thick rinds, you know, like grapefruits and oranges, citruses like that. Geraniums and mint. It's a cool new bottle. Seaweed, marine notes, all that cool stuff. It's a very modern, more stronger more fresher version than le mail the old school classic make sure it says goatee on there it smells like you were at the beach seven hours is not a problem for this you see the batch codes on there it's got so many compliments i love this and it's probably discontinued now already i think it came out in 2019 the vanilla in here makes this super sexy here's a new fragrance i just got and i tested it and it's got lots of ginseng do you know what ginseng is it's got ginger it's got cacao it's called pure excess night vanilla cinnamon caramel and myr m-y-r-r-h an overdose of ginger an overdose of vanilla and an overdose of resins and myr in here the first hour i put this on five six sprays like i normally do with all fragrances and something i didn't like about it but after i kept wearing it i noticed this fragrance wasn't playing around this thing is serious performance like you only need two to three sprays max and you'll find projections outstanding you'll find the central and the longevity is all outstanding paco rabanne pure excess night after five sprays in seven hours i was really digging it and it took me a few seconds like few seconds meaning a few hours to really enjoy it but do you know ginseng is kind of like an earthy smell just so you know ginseng yes it does as a matter of fact work in fragrances as well when you spray it on you're ingesting ginseng is a healthy alternative to improve your immune system which is very good these day and age it also helps fight fatigue so you spray this on and you'll get focus and energy and one more thing i promise you ginseng does penile dysfunction but i'm not i'm just saying that's what's inside this juice the next one i really found this is a cool tip prada Lom has a recent price drop you might find this, this is a beautiful fragrance from 2016 i've seen the 1.7 bottles right around 35 under 40 dollars which is a fabulous price for this hall of fame superstar fragrance powdery slight spicy powdered fragrance I want you to turn the camera and look at you now. Comment down below. What are your some cool bargain finds that you are really digging? Give me a list of two or three fragrance titles that you're really digging. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Peace and love.